Hey guys, I bought the Crucial SSD MX100. I bought that and I want to install it in my HP NV14. So the way I'm going to do this is as follows. I'm basically, basically going to turn the laptop over. And remove the battery. Some laptops are a little bit different. You're gonna have to use a screwdriver or something to remove the uh, that cover. Mine just pops out like that. Anyway, now I'm gonna take out, unlock the battery, take it out. I'm gonna turn the laptop back over. Open it up. And just I'm gonna drain the remaining battery that's in there because I don't want any uh, static shocks happening. So I'm gonna hold that for about five. I'm gonna hold the power button for about five seconds. Uh, close the lid again. Flip it back over. Okay, now when you remove, I already took up my old hard drive. I don't know if you guys can see. Anyway, after removing your old hard drive. You're going to have a frame that you're going to have to unscrew. You see, there's a screw right there where my thumb is. And there's another screw right there. You're going to have to unscrew that. And then you're going to remove the frame. And you're going to need this frame to put on the SSD. And the way it works, let me just move that aside, is you're going to take the SSD, which is right here, and you're going to sort of screw it onto the frame make sure I'm getting this right and basically the once that's screwed in I'm going to screw that in and I'm going to show you guys and once you put the last screw in you should have a frame like that like so you don't want to put the screws in too tight you just want to uh, screw them in snugly and the reason you need them is so that you can tighten them onto the laptop so I'm going to just drop it in there, and on my HP NV14, every laptop's different. Just, just slide it in like that, and as long as you don't see the pins. Now what you're going to do now, is you're going to screw the hard drive back in. So on this, oops, wrong Phillips. So on this particular one, you have four screws. Make sure that's lined up properly. There you go, there's one. There's two. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. Now I'm just going to put the battery back in. Lock it. Put the cover back on. And then uh, I'm going to turn it on. Now, because my HP NV14 is SATA 2, boot time is about 30 seconds. Um, Anyway, overall you'll see a huge performance increase, especially if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, in terms of if it's worth it or not, I would go for one of the cheaper SSDs that uh, clock, that the speed clocks to about 200 or even 300. You know, nothing, nothing expensive because at the end of the day, if you're using SATA 2, if your laptop only supports SATA 2, you are limited. You will be bottlenecked. And uh, spending that that large amount is, you know, at the end of the day, will not be worth it. So overall, it's worth it. And uh, it will speed up your computer. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up.